Well, as we all know, China has been once again, this is a yearly occurrence, has been dealing with devastating floods. And I got to say, I don't know about you, but I feel like it gets worse every year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you could have climate change as part of it. You could also have poor response. You could have crumbling infrastructure, even though it's new. <laughs> I know? Honestly, I think they never repair the damage by yes. the time the next floods come. Yeah, it's not enough time. To yeah, but on top of that, the drainage systems are never Correct. built correctly. They're never improved. Yeah. So it doesn't drain. So every time there's floods, it just gets worse. Yes. Anyway, uh, as a big part of the flood effort in China... What they like to do is make propaganda to show everybody that they're doing everything to help. And we've constantly shown you fakery surrounding this, right? Like we've shown you where they have like a fire hydrant and mm -hmm. they spray water over the people pretending to like, you know, put up sandbags and pretending to help. We've shown you this many times. And uh, what you're seeing behind us is one of these situations where they're helping people in need in the floods. Let's take a look, shall we? these brave rescue workers so before we even continue to play you have to pay attention in the background you can see two cameramen standing there there are more and multiple angles and obviously whoever's filming this as well but you have multiple camera people taking video and photos of this heroic effort of these rescue workers helping these poor women who are stranded in the flood there's only one problem <laughs> it's about this deep. I love it's the a, dude walking he just walks by past. just casually. Yes. I love how he screws up the shot. Yeah, completely. They're probably like, oh, well, we'll have to film that again. <laughs> it's actually harder for them to drag this raft across the, because the ground. Because it's so shallow. Yeah, it's grounded. It's on the ground. That's <laughs> yeah. the thing. It's not floating. It's They're just dragging it on the ground. <laughs> Let's play that again for you guys one more time so yeah. you can see. I just, I cropped it so you can see. Wow, look at how dramatic this is. Yes, oh. rescue workers. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Yes, oh. <laughs> it's like they're inching it along on the ground. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this is actually what happens. Have you heard about the Chinese uh, police catch and release program? No. Okay, well, maybe you're going to see it in sure. in action here. Okay. Interesting, so, uh, interesting government policy. Let's yeah, see. Uh, yeah, exactly. So what we have here is there's obviously a lot of flooding, as we know. An old man there. So what you've got here is you've got a struggling old man who's obviously, with great effort, been swept away by the river. He has tied a floating jug to himself which is actually no. a very good idea yeah very it can help him and he's finally managed to grab onto the edge here he's been floating down the river he obviously got swept off a bridge or out of his home or whatever so you've got two brave chinese police officers here who are going to help the guy out let's check these government employees yeah let's see Cups got red underwear on for luck. Yeah, they do that on the birth year usually. For the whole year, you gotta wear red underwear. Oh. Whoops. Can I pause it for a second? Sure. A really great effort. Amazing. I mean, effort. Was, did you see them? They were really, I mean, when they bent down like that, they were, you could really tell they used all of their energy. And they, they literally went, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> what the hell? What? It's the most. What did I just watch? <laughs> Off he goes. I mean, that's sad. It's because, horrible. And I hope that guy. Thankfully, he has that flotation. Device, yes. Otherwise, we wouldn't even show this. No. Uh, and look, the the water is horrible. It's <laughs> raging all the way down there, but it's fairly slow moving. I think he'll be okay. But it just shows like that's the real rescue efforts. Look, there he goes. Like I'm At saying, he's still buoyant, which is he's good. buoyant, yeah. and yeah, I'm just might hoping. be able to grab onto that wall. But the cops yeah. are. They can you pause it on the cops where they're helping him? They didn't do anything. No. They actually, I told you, catch and release. It's the catch and release program. I'll tell you what, this, uh, the, the absolute service from the Chinese um, they, they police service, it really will, it'll leave you swept away. <laughs> you'll you know what I mean? You'll, you'll be away. swept away by their service. You know, this, oh, let me do a, a dialogue here. Okay, okay, go for it. Help, help, help. All right, how much are you going to give us if we help you? I don't have any money on me right now. What do you mean you got no money? I don't have anything. I'm stuck here in the flood. I'm going to die. Help me. Get me out of the water. He's got no money. He's got nothing. Oh, well. 
He's maybe, like, maybe thanks for nothing, like guys. That. There was no effort. It's, I would be like, yank it. Yeah, you wouldn't let go. You're no. Like, but they're just... I was trained as a lifeguard. We pull, you pull people as hard as you can. Yeah. But I'll tell you when they are effective, uh, these, these Chinese uh, police rescues. If the government you know, cameras are on them? That, and under other circumstances, like you'll see here in a second. Oh no, the water's not moving at all. And there we have a Chinese flag, which I'm quite sure they planted in there in the first place. It's a bit too convenient, right? Yeah, a little, a little inconvenient. So then they're like, well, we'll rescue the flag. We won't rescue the people, by the way. That's no, they'll... So yeah, the people, we'll just let them, we'll send them back down the river where they came from, you know? But uh, the flag, mm, yes, we can't let it that... It shows you uh, the priority in the government as well. Like, this is obviously a propaganda video yes. that we've just shown. This is definitely not organic. Yes. There yeah. is no nationalism in these people's hearts when they're going to do this, right? No. They're they're doing like a little stunt to put on. This is on state media, by the way. Absolutely. The thing is cropped on the top, but it was on state media. It's to share around and be like, well, you know, the cops are willing to put their life in danger to go in floodwaters to yeah. rescue our nation's pride. Yes. You know, the five-star red flag. Not the people, though. Not the They people. won't go in the water. They'll like well, reach down. Like, oh, you had a good grip there? Let's take a look at your grip. <laughs> Bye. I wonder what's worse. We'll play the next clip. Okay, I want, sure. I want to actually postulate this question. Okay. And then look at them. Oh, they fall. Well, this is... It's like a side-by-side -side comparison. Somewhere in the distance, I hear the Chinese national anthem. Yeah. Well, that flag, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I really hope that guy was okay. Me too. Yeah. Seriously though. All thoughts uh, and prayers towards the the poor guy. Am I so constantly my, going down? He's probably still down the rolling. river. At least he's cursing. Brilliant. He's cursing the police as he goes. Those pieces of shit. Cops. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know what? Yep. What? I want to ask. Yeah. <laughs> would it have been just worse if they just stood there and watched him go by? Or would it be better? Is it was it worse for them to like like pull on his pinky and be like, eh, let's see? Uh, you know, yeah, I, I think they dislodged him. To be honest, yeah. he probably would have been able to hold on and maybe even pull himself out mm. if they hadn't interfered. I think what's even more disturbing is how they just stand there and watch him. You yeah. know, if they actually had like any slowly. concern, they're not they, radioing in. Dude, they have radios. They would be running along the river yeah. next to him at least. Yeah. But oh no, you know, trying to figure it out, they'd be frantic. Keep but they on. don't care. Look at the, the body language. They just don't care. No. No. Yeah. It's tragic and it's horrible and it's it shows you the Chinese government doesn't care. So anyway. It's probably in India by now. Probably. Yeah. What's that river they keep cutting off from like Vietnam or whatever? Oh, uh, the Mekong? Yeah. Maybe, he's in, Mekong. maybe he's in, in Vietnam where they'll actually rescue him. They'll actually rescue they'll him. They'll be like, dude, yeah. you need help. Yeah. They'll have a pole or something, you know? Yeah. They're, they're like all... a bunch of those motorcycles will pull over and they'll, they'll step through yeah. shooters and they'll have the pole. Yeah. They'll help them out. They'll he's send, fine now. You know those, like, the women that go sell, like, fruit and stuff yeah. on the boats? They'll go get him. Yeah. That's true. Mm. And then he'll have to learn Vietnamese, but he'll be better taken care of. And he'll actually want to stay there. Yes. Badminton, believe it or not, is incredibly popular in China. It is. It's Why a, would we not believe that, though? Because it's not popular anywhere else. <laughs> Hunting camouflage, personal dress-up shorts, tactical training skirt for men's Scottish kilt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the photo they what used. What is this? I just love that he's wearing a dress. He's wearing a dress. And it <laughs> looks like camel. he's wearing, like, a bra. <laughs> yeah. Like... I don't think we took that in. That is absolutely absurd. Fidget spinner knife, outdoor folding blade, stainless steel camping knife, military knives. But it's got a knuckle duster built in so you can like punch someone and then at the same time as you're punching them, sever your own artery or body set, you know. <laughs> Take a breath, you fill up my life.